Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about Pequants versus Qquants. So in general, I think the terminology and the way it's broken out and people that actually use this, I think this is complete nonsense, but we're going to go into this a little bit so you'll know when somebody mentions this what it means. Um, Pequant refers to buy side, whereas Qquant refers to sell side. It's really just that simple. Um, the P for Pequant comes from the probabilities of the real world, whereas the Q comes from the probabilities of the risk neutral pricing framework. So if you worked in derivative products and you do pricing, you have to do the risk neutral pricing to get the actual prices of derivative products. Um, and this plays into the fact that Q, so people say Q quants are those actually price derivatives. To do that, you use all the information that you have as of today in a risk neutral framework. Um, whereas Pequants are actually going to be predicting. So if you're buying derivatives, you're buying assets, you're thinking about the future, and so therefore that is a Pequant, whereas Qquants actually do pricing as of today, so it's historical. Um, I'm gonna link an article below, you can read more about it in general, but just my opinion on this to quickly wrap this video up, I think it is complete nonsense. Um, I know a lot of people ask the question like, oh, Dimitri, like, do I wanna be a P quant? Do I wanna be a Q quant? Like, what skills do I need? How are they different? Um, to be honest, I don't think you can be a quant in any way, shape, or form without actually knowing all the material. So being able to price derivative products is crucial. It's part of the foundations of being a quant, a financial engineer. And then on the flip side of that, like being able to view, hold, buy, like strategies and statistics is all going to play into the fact of a P quant. So I think you have to have both skill sets. You cannot be a quant and only be one. Yes, yes, I know you will have a career. You could be a sell side quant or a buy side quant. Um, but I think this is really superficial and kind of a dumb way to segregate quants in general. Um, again, it's like stochastic processes, right? It's a financial time plot of some value, whether it's an asset or like GDP, macroeconomic variable, for example. Um, you have to know the past, you have to know the future. The entire purpose of working in the derivative realm is understanding all these concepts, both in a multivariate kind of like statistical realm of forecasting, as well as being able to price derivatives and assets in a current time frame. So in general, I think you need to know everything. I don't think you should focus on being a P quant or a Q quant. Uh, in general, I think you should focus on learning the entire realm of quant finance. Um, again, it is a lifelong journey. There is no like end to it. You don't just become a quant. Um, so for me, it's gonna take years and years and years and I will die still learning. So. That's kind of my thoughts on Pequant versus Qquant, what they are, what I think about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.